What made you want to be an artist? I'm assuming if you're watching this video or following my channel, you must have some interest in art and photography that goes beyond just enjoying the work of others. For me, the answer to this question is simple. What made me want to be an artist was the impact that the art of others has had on me. Art has always been incredibly important to me. When I was a child, I was so moved by the films I watched that all I could think about was how wonderful it would be to make one of my own. Because I wanted to have that kind of impact on people too. I wanted to express something beautiful and universal about human existence, capable of cutting people to their very core. As an adult, my ideas about art have changed, but that burning desire to make something meaningful that can be shared with others still remains. I love most every art form. I love film, photography, literature, philosophy, and really anything humans do with real passion behind it. And this leads me into the purpose of our discussion today. Artists love art and consume art because it serves as inspiration. I'm sometimes surprised at how frequently I come across people who claim they want to be an artist, but can't name a single artist whose work has influenced them. I also find it quite odd when I meet a photographer who has some influences in photography, but seems to have no interest or knowledge in any other art forms. The Mexican photographer Graciela Iturbide talks about how her mentor taught her to appreciate art in all its forms, from music to literature to photography and beyond. Iturbide's love of literature and poetry is highly instrumental in her approach to her photography. Artists are curious about the big questions of human existence, not necessarily because they want to solve them, but because they are fascinated by what it is to be alive and human, and they find meaning in the search for meaning. It's pretty difficult to find meaning in an echo chamber. A true artist is always reading, looking, watching, thinking about the multifaceted approaches to this problem of meaning as presented by other artists. This is why they read books, watch films, and listen to music. If you're one of the many would-be artists out there who's struggling to find inspiration, I've got the solution for you. Pick up a book and actually read it. I know you're busy but I promise you, you aren't as busy as you think you are. How many hours a day do you spend scrolling through social media? How often do you find yourself endlessly clicking through Netflix options only to turn the TV off an hour later, never having settled on anything? I know I catch myself doing these things more often than I'd like to admit. Put the phone down, put the remote down, and give yourself permission to just be. Pick up that book or choose to watch that challenging film you've been putting off in favor of binging mindless reality television. Examine that art book sitting on your shelf and take time with each and every piece included there. Grab a copy of Sally Mann's Hold On and become fascinated by her story and the fact that not only is she a great photographer, but she can write too. Learn to sit still and absorb rather than always needing to speak. If you can do this on even a semi-regular basis, I guarantee you, you'll never run short on inspiration again.